This video, I'm gonna go over a couple of things related to XYO. So I'm gonna fully test the XYO network. So essentially, if you have wondered, hey, is it worth it if I pay for a plan, if I don't pay for a plan, if I pay for a Sentinel, if I don't, I'm gonna go over all of that. I'll tell you on a per minute basis how much you will make on average if you use the coin app without a Sentinel, with a Sentinel, with the pro plan, and with the plus plan, with all four um, options they give you available. So I'll be going over all of that. I'm also gonna be going over the degradation, the XYO, has had over the past 12 months because I did the same test 12 months ago and I know how much I, I earned uh, at that time as well and then I am going to show you how much I have made mining XYO for an entire 12 months on Wi-Fi so I'll be going over all of that stuff in this video but if this is the first time you've been to my channel, just know that I do make these videos directed towards new people in this space. I test networks out, I, I do a bunch of Q and A's. I, I, I wanna help brand new people enter the space without getting scammed. On that note, I do make videos multiple times throughout the week and I do a live uh, stream every single Sunday at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. So if you do have any questions, you want me to help you troubleshoot anything, you can always hop on there and I'll be able to help you out. Also, this channel goes straight to charity. So every single like and subscribe, um, absolutely goes a very, very long way. So, um, you know, if you haven't, please hit that, you know, like button, subscribe button. It definitely helps this channel grow. Every share, every comment, uh, super appreciated. So, at any rate, uh, I hope you like this video. It took me a little bit to make, but uh, uh, yeah, here it is. Okay, so XYO has been out for quite some time and the mining algorithm has changed quite a bit. So I decided to do another round of testing. I will be going on a road trip. It should be about an eight or a nine hour drive. Um, and I will see how many coins I will get um, on that drive. Now I will be um, uh, using a Sentinel, but I'm not paying for any program whatsoever. So I'm just using the Sentinel and the, the app that you can download for free. So uh, yeah, let's uh, let's get started. So as you see, we are starting the trip with 19,645 miles. It is 3.30 and we are starting with 13,359 XYO tokens. So let's go on this trip and see where we end up when we are all done. So here I have a video of me driving and then I have a video on the left of a screenshot of the XYO app as I'm driving to kind of see what it looks like. And as you see, I average around the low teens to the high, to the around 30 range, the you know point low teens to the point 30 range every single time uh, I cycle. Now if we slow this down, let's do a little test. All we really need to know is how long it takes to mine each section as you're driving and what the average amount of coins you get and then we can find out how many coins you will get on average whether you take a five minute drive or a four hour drive. So as you see here I actually am doing this through the uh, video editing program so I have to have, to have an exact time. So at uh, one minute and 39 seconds 0.23 is when the mine actually starts and it ends around one minute 49 seconds 0.03, 07, 05 somewhere around there. 
So it's about nine seconds it takes for that mine to actually take place. Okay, so let's break this down as simply as we can and essentially get it to the point where we will be able to find out how many XYO tokens we will make for every one minute we drive. So how I ended up doing the math on that was I took a full five minutes of driving and figured out how many tokens I made during that five minutes. So I started the five minutes with 14,058.99 tokens and ended with 14,066.30 tokens, which equaled out to be a gain of 7.31 tokens. So since I was driving for five full minutes, I took that five and times it by 60 because there's 60 seconds in a minute and that equaled out to be 300 seconds. And then I divided that by nine because we know that every nine seconds, that's how many, that's how long it takes to just do one full mine. So we know within that 300 seconds or full five minutes, we will end up mining 33 times. I took 300 seconds divided by nine equals 33. So I was mine. I mined 33 times to get that 7.31. So I took 7.31 and I divided that by 33, and that averaged out to be 0.22 per mine on average that I got. So now that we know that we make 0.22 every nine seconds, we take 60 seconds and divide it by nine, that equals 6.66. So we know that we mine 6.66 times every minute. So we take that and times it by 0.22, and that equals out to be 1.46. So there's the answer. Skylar. That's it. Wait. <laughs> Skylar. Wait, wait, Skylar? Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, you're doing this math way long. Um, you can just divide it by five and you'll Well, get obviously, I'm just trying to break down the math for everybody, you jerk. I'm being a jerk? Well, just slow your roll, let me do I my am. own video, okay? Oh, yeah, Jeez. I'll, I'll stop it, I'll stop it. Sorry. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, so let's break that down and what that would look like with real hard cash, right? So first, in order to do that, we need to figure out how much XYO is currently priced. In order to do that, you can go to CoinMarketCap, you can go to CoinGecko. There's a bunch of places you can go to find out the current price, but the current price as of recording this is 0 .000202. So for every $1 um, that you would want to make, it would end up uh, taking 0 .000202. It would take 4,950 tokens in order to get $1. So we know for every minute we make about 1.46 tokens. So if we divide this by 1.46, that equals out to be 3,390 tokens. So if we take this, we can end up dividing it by 60. And so it would take 56 hours of driving with the app on in order to make $1. Now you can even do math the reverse way and you can end up taking that 1.46 tokens you make every minute, we times it by 60, that ends up being one full hour and we know that we make 87.6 tokens per hour. So 87.6 times 0 0.000202, which is the current price of XYO, equals out to be 0 0.017 uh, pennies. So it's a little under two pennies you make per hour of driving. And there's many different ways that we can end up running these numbers, but now let's take these numbers and compare them to if you were to pay for either of the plans. So what you're looking at right now is a video sped up to 300% and I'm doing a test on all four different plans that XYO and CoinApp currently offer. On the very left, I'm running it without any Sentinel whatsoever. Right next to it, I'm running it only with a Sentinel. The third video, I'm running it with the Coin Plus app. And the very right video, I'm running the Pro plan. Now the same testing and math I did before with the Sentinel, I did also on the Plus and the Pro plan, except I ran a full 30 minutes on each 
one of those tests just so I can get a more accurate number on the results. And these are the results I essentially ended up getting. So with only mining, you should average around these numbers. So without a Sentinel, you should get about, get about 0.248 XYL every single minute. And with the price that XYL currently is, if you ended up driving essentially 40 hours a week, you would end up making 12 cents a week. With the Sentinel, you get about 1.46 XYO every single minute. That equals out to be 74 cents a minute. With the Coin Plus, you equal out to be 7.86 XYO every single minute. And that equals out to be $3.81 a week. And with the Pro Plan, you ended up getting about 15.35 XYO every single minute. And that equals out to be $7.44. And that's just the rewards you get from mining from the Coin App. You can also earn a ton of more XYO coin from doing many other things on the app like getting background rewards, geo drops, getting big geo mines, watching ads on the app, get geo claims, get referral rewards, get bonus drops, get hodl rewards, get shared sentinel rewards, and they seemingly keep on adding more and more stuff. Now with all of those extra things, I have found that I am able to increase my rewards 2 to 3x depending how aggressive I am on being on the app and doing all those extra things. So let's see the potential we could make of this. So if we drove 40 hours a week and we had the app running in the background the entire time, you should be able to make about $2.96 a month if you just had the phone running with the Sentinel and you weren't paying for any program whatsoever. However, if you were also doing all the extras every single day, you should be able to double your money to about $5.92. And if you were heavily using the app, you should be able to make about $8.88 every single month without paying for any program and just the one Sentinel. And if you were paying $25 for the plus plan and you were only mining with a Sentinel for the 40 hours, you'd make $15.24. If you did the extras every single day as well, you would double that to about $30.48. And if you heavily used the app every single day, you should be able to make about $45.72 every single month. And the pro plan, which is $35, if you drove full time, you should be able to mine about $29.76 if you did nothing else. If you ended up doing the extras every single day, you should be able to double that to $59.52. And if you heavily use the app every single day, you should be able to make upwards of $89.28. <laughs> So finally ending our long road trip. Uh, we ended the trip with a little over 500 miles. It ended up being about uh, 20,157 when I ended. Um, so about 512 miles um, from when I started calculating. Um, ended with about 14,749.90 tokens. Um, that being said, uh, about 400 tokens, I did a big mine on accident, so if I ended up minusing that, and then I ended up averaging my entire road trip, and then calculating it on a per minute average, I equal out to be 1.84, which is actually a little bit more than what I tested, but it's around the same amount. So in the interest of saving time, let's quickly talk about the degradation that you get from mining over the course of a year and how much I earned when I mined on Wi-Fi for an entire year straight. So I essentially made a little over 50,000, it's about 52,000 tokens mining on Wi-Fi for an entire year. And maybe about a week of that, it wasn't mining maybe a week and a half of the year, maybe two weeks, I don't know. Uh, I checked it every single day, but there were times where it was offline for eight, nine hours or something like that. Um, and when it comes to the degradation, uh, I find that you are making about five times as less than you were last year when I was mining the same tokens and everything like that. But essentially kind of what I found out is last year, what you are now paying for the pro plan, you were getting for free or close to it. So it's around five 
five to six, five to seven X less than what you were mining a year ago. So if that does continue, just know in a year, uh, you could be getting less, but the, again, I think the team has done a good job at keeping those tokens consistent. You just now have to do a little bit extra work with the program, with the app, in order to get the same tokens. Okay. So here's the deal, everybody. I didn't make this video to be a pro or a negative XYO. I just wanted to share with you, if you did testing on the project and you were running numbers today, these are what the numbers would end up being. I have made other videos on my channel that do talk about my thoughts on XYO that are very clearly listed. Uh, so if you wanna go check out my channel and check those videos out, uh, that's awesome. I just want to let everyone know I appreciate you being here again, and uh, thanks a lot, and I'll see you guys at the next video. Take care. Bye.